Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of I am Penge. Welcome back to the Civilization VI Rise and Fall One City Challenge. So here is the culture victory screen. And we're very nearly there. Look, that, that little sort of circle thing is so nearly full. So 178 out of 212 tourists, which leave us with 34. 34 to gain and we are in. We have done. We have won. And I think if we do things right, we might be able to do that this time around. However, it appears that I may have been sort of doing things not not wrong, but I may have been uh, concentrating my efforts in the wrong place because I've been trying to get on Victoria's good side. So I've been saying, right, I want to get open borders and send a trade route because she's the only one that I haven't out tourism yet. But of course, I've been kind of misunderstanding this slightly because this sum here, this 178 that I have, 178 tourists, is the sum of all these. So I get 30 tourists from England, I get 26 from Korea and 29 from Japan and so on. So all those added up is this number. Now I've been going, oh, I need to get England to get the tourists from England. I don't really need to get the tourists from England. I can get the tourists from anywhere. I could concentrate on Rome because I've only got 28 from him or even 26 from Korea. Concentrate a lot on getting them from Korea and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter where they come from. So thank you very much to Source of Being in the comments for pointing that out. And uh, yeah, thank you for all your comments, actually, because you are a frequent commenter and you often put me right on things. So thank you very much. Keep the comments coming, please. So um, yeah, maybe I don't need to concentrate quite so much on her and maybe concentrate on some of the other ones. Maybe, yeah, career. I get less from her than any of the others. And in fact, I get, yeah, all right from England. Third highest from England so far. So, um, yes, we'll see. Maybe I'll concentrate on her. Maybe I'll go down, sort of get in the route, get some more tourists from her. But, uh, yeah, it's all looking pretty good at the minute. It's all looking good. I mean, even if we're in a dark age, and I think at the current rate we're going, we're probably going to end up in another dark age. <laughs> so we just can't get the points anymore. We just can't get the uh, the uh, era score. And I don't know quite how you're supposed to get the era score now. I don't know what you do. When all the wonders have been built and all the things have been discovered, how exactly do you get the... Uh, the era score points or is it just by doing fighting and war and all that kind of stuff the other things must give you them as we've seen but um yeah the, the bulk of them does come from wonders and stuff so yeah we're going to be struggling i think uh, right envoys lovely okay three envoys splendid who shall we send these to we don't really need that much stuff particularly we don't need anything we've got auckland buenos aires is Hours is under our control anyway, so it doesn't make that much difference. Lisbon to get more, gold. we get 264 gold per turn because of our ridiculous peace deal with England. I don't really know what to do with the envoys. Where should we put them? Do anyone, do any of these have a good suzerain bonus? You apostle units, yeah. I see a lot of people said, Oh, we should go for Candy's one every time I discover a new natural wonder, you get a relic, but it's a bit, yeah, that's not as useful as it could be. I suppose I could have used the bonus faith to. To sort of, uh, what is it, whatever it is, patronise, patronise, <laughs> to patronise some people. Could have used it on these, maybe. But yeah, I'm not that, I'm not that bothered. Could we get you? 400 science for each rainforest. Oh, we're going to get you anyway. Oh, that's fine. Maybe we'll use the faith to get the next person along. Really irritate everybody. That'd be good. Okay, but right, never mind. So yeah, city-states. I don't quite know what to do with these then. Uh, let's try and give one to, I wonder who the suzerain of Hattusa is. Korea or Rome, possibly? Because they've both got a diplomat in there. Well, let's put one in there. Why not? That's a fun thing. Don't care about that. Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing really that I need. There's nothing really. I want two in there, then. We might as well do that. Oh, I've got another envoy, have I? Have I got four? Three envoys. Why have I got so many envoys? Six? Why have I got six? Did I do a social... A social... A, a, a civic thing? No. Okay, have I got some sort of thing that gives me double that I've completely forgotten about? Hang on, where's my government? Where's my government? Plus two. No, no, no. Okay, great. Well, I've got six. I don't quite know why. Maybe I, they got returned return to me from a city state. They got taken over or something. Oh, I don't know. What's their thing? A trader unit's a bit immune to being plundered on water tiles. Ugh. <laughs> Botherations. Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's go down. I might annoy Victoria, but let's go down that route. Let's give them all into there. And also uh, get rid of the one from there and put that into there. Put that into Granada to stop Granada attacking me if England ever decides to do that again. But also builders can now make Alcazar improvements. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But let's do that just to annoy England. <laughs> just to annoy them a little bit. And let's go into here and check out an Alcazar improvement. 
Oh, it's like a little sort of fort thing. Plus two culture. Ooh. Occupying units is plus four defense strength and can automatically gain two turns of fortification. Cannot be built next to another one. Ah. So you get plus two culture. So it's like a sort of little cast uh, castle palace indeed. There. Okay, right. So we can build those now if we so wish. And what do we want to do in here? We're absolutely fine for housing. We are utterly, utterly delirious with amenities. I don't think we need to bother with amenities. Um, shall we do some more science just to get our science up a little bit? Or do we try and go down the culture route? Go down the culture route and just, just get culture coming out of our ears. Culture coming out of everything and just get that tourism thing up. I'd quite like to do some science first just to get the science stuff going. Get some, you know, some of this stuff sorted. I mean, we're going to change our policy next turn anyway to this. So that's quite a good policy to have for us. Let's clear that. So uh, yeah, let's let's get some more campus research grant stuff going on. And that'll help us boost this. Now flight. Now that's interesting because as far as I remember before Rise and Fall, Aerodrome uh, was was purple, wasn't it? Wasn't it a purple icon possibly? Whereas they've changed it to a sort of bright red icon now. I swear it was a purple icon before. But whatever the case, I'm probably not going to build one of those. I don't think it's that important. Right, here we go. So this is what we want. So social media is completed. And we have this thing here. Online communities plus 50% tourism output to sieves to which you have a trade route. So, ooh. Ah, well, there we go. That's where we get era scorpets from. Our expression, expression of social media would define humanity's future in the information era. Now, this is intriguing, is it? This is where Civ can get a bit weird. This is where Civ gets weird. Because we've got social media. So you'd think social media is stuff on your on phones and on internet and on computers. However, we haven't discovered electricity yet. <laughs> so I don't quite know what they're doing the social media on. Let alone computers. We haven't even discovered electricity. Uh, we can't even fly. We haven't even discovered flight. Let alone... I mean, okay, hang on a minute. So social media, think, I, I, in my mind, I thought, well, it'll be radio. Radio messages. We haven't discovered radio either. So I don't know exactly how we're doing our social media, but okay, I'm glad we are. Jolly good. Right. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Let's promote you then. Yay. You can do campus stuff. Good for you. Woo. <laughs> yep. Good. He's good then. And we get to pick a Civic. And I think these have opened up a bit now again, haven't they? Yeah. So what do we want to go for? Globalization gives us anything exciting. Not really. Plus two gold plantations. Have we got many of those? We've got some banana plantations around, I suppose. Uh, allows the transport of land units. Nah, not really that bothered. Nuclear program. Plus four great scientist points per turn. We could replace our plus two with the plus four. Let's go for that. Why not? That'll do. We'll do that. We'll get these eventually, I think. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. We'll get that done. And, uh, oh, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't change my policy into the really good one. <laughs> Do you know what? We'll wait until nuclear programs and we'll do it then. Oh, I'm so, so eager. I'm so eager. Oh, okay. That's a bit different. Have they updated this since I last played? I didn't check if there have been any updates. That looks different. You transgressed Victoria's agenda, standing army. Normally it just says, you don't have many troops. But now it's telling us what we're doing. Or is that just because I've got a bit of a higher standing with her? I don't know. Okay, that's intriguing. Right, okay. Uh, right, well, let's let's get flight then. Oh, apart from theftery is happening. Ah, a spy from Rome was killed during the neutralised governor. For the role, yes, my he's been promoted. <gasps> Jumo has been promoted. Oh, you are beautiful. Neutralised governors have two levels more experience. Siphon funds or steel tech. Well, I'm not going to redo any of these. Because you're the home guards guy. You're the guy who stays at home. Whatever, steel tech, that'll do. Here we go. Trade route. So the trade route to Japan is done. So I think what we do is we send it to Sangju, which is a Korean city, and that will then start play, paying off here. So we'll be able to get some more tourism from there. So that'll be very cool. So yeah, let's do that. Let's send you to there then to do that. Yes, uh, begin route. That's good. So that's going there. You are, are you the spy? Yes, you want to stay in the city in there splendiferous and we have nothing particularly to do right now uh, another spy might be good fun let's do some let's you know ferment some unrest or something in rome let's go and irritate the romans because it's a fun thing to do
Ah, there we go. Right, yes, I will go for your one. I think you go to war with England probably every so often, but a lot less than Japan does because you don't quite bored them. So, yeah, I'll go for an economic alliance with you. I think I do have a trade route with you, so that's a good thing. There we go. And I did just see at the top there that um, uh, Netherlands have got themselves a new archaeological artefact. Now, if I just go through and check... Let me go through and check. Great works. So my archaeological museum is not themed at the minute so the theme is what do i need Bo uh, doubling output when displaying artifacts of the same era from different sieves so we've got a, mu a mummy from the where's that ancient era created by me we've got an ancient and oh no, a classical right let's swap that around to that if that makes a bit more sense so then let's that's, what's that? An ancient artifact by Genghis, and that's classical. So if their thing is ancient, and it's not by Genghis Khan or me, I'll swap them this axe. So let's go and have a little chat to the Dutch. Hello, Dutch people. How are you? I like your hat. You're very happy today. Would you like... Uh, that's classical. That's ancient. Yes. Would you like a thing for a thing, for an axe? Would you like that? Oh. Offer blocking deal. What does that mean? What does that mean? An offer blocking a deal. Never mind. What does that mean? Did I just do something really stupidly wrong there? What if I just pick that anyway? Yeah, okay. Maybe I can't send them that then. Ah, because I've got no effort to go. Is that it? Ah, would you like your spy back? Make it more equitable. Uh, no. Yeah, and I see that confused because we can't ha we can't do that, can we? We can't we can't take that mask away. We can't do that. So yeah, well, we can have your spy. That's fine. But we've got nowhere to put this artifact. We need to get rid of another artifact. And if we do axe, I give you an axe and your spy back. You give me a mask, but it's saying the offer is blocking the deal. <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Offer blocking deal because we get rid of the axe, which is classical. And put the ancient artifact in, which would make sense. That would be a good thing. That would be good. Why can we not do that? Why can we not do this? Okay, right. I'm I'm confused. I'm just going to play around with it and see if I can make it work. Nope. I can't make it work. I don't know what that me... Oh, hang on. Now you can give me the mask. Hang on. You couldn't do that a second ago. I just went out and went back in. What would it take? C can you give me that? No, so it's something to do with it. Now, what I did just do, I thought, well, I saved the game. I thought, well, if I give them the axe, that then frees up a slot in my museum, and then I can then deal for the mask. So I'll have a space. So it's not like at the minute we haven't got any room. Like if I just said, I want the mask now, I've got nowhere for it to go. So I can't actually put the mask anywhere. So I thought, if I get rid of the axe, that's fine. Give them that. That makes them happy with me. Then try and get the mask from them by giving them, I don't know, some good stuff or a massive pile of gold or whatever. Then uh, yeah, they'd be happy with that. But no, I, uh, for whatever reason, I can't. I can't make it work. If I give them the mummy, it doesn't like it. If I give them a scroll, it doesn't like it. If I give them a book thing, it doesn't like it. I can't get that mask off them, and I don't really understand what the error means. I don't know what that means. Offer, blocking deal. So what offer? I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't get what that means. I don't know. So we can't do that, which is a shame. That's a real shame because I would quite like to be able to theme the uh, theme the museum I've got, the archaeological museum. But never mind, right? Let's shuffle time on again. Let's get flight and nuclear program done. Now they're going to be done on the same turn, which is jolly exciting. And here she comes denouncing me once again because I'm allied with their enemy. So I'm allied with Genghis Khan, which has made her all very sad. Never mind. Perhaps you should just, you know, get over it. Yep, you're coming here to just mock the cavalry, but that's entirely fine because we're in the year 1910. I don't think cavalry are really a thing anymore. So what I've got is great big gun things, like a cannon, and these guys have got guns. I mean, granted, they're not the best guns in the world. How much is it to upgrade these people? 585 gold. Good lord. Okay, so here's, here's a plan then. Here's a plan. Next turn, when we get our nuclear program done and we can change our government policies... Let's get the one in that lets us upgrade our units at half the cost. Because that's quite expensive. What happened? A spy from Japan was killed during the Siphon Funds mission. You naughty Japanese people. All right, you're supposed to be my friend. 
You're supposed to be my friend. Now, however, I have stolen rocketry from the Koreans. They're not my friend, though. Look, she's unfriendly to me. So I stole rocketry from the city of Seoul. Yes, good job. Uh, and I've got flight and nuclear program. Rocketry. My, no my knowledge of rocketry has advanced considerably. Oh, yes. You steal the, the boost, not the actual tech, of course. Um, okay. Well, who are you? Which one are you? Are you the one that I just trained? So I did just train a spy as well. Yeah, this is this is confusing. Right, you, Rahima, you're the one there. So let's promote you. Uh, so let's... Oh, you're counter-spying. You've got good counter-spy stuff. Takes no time to establish presence in an enemy city. That sounds quite good. You can go around and do stuff quickly. So let's do that. In a secret underground room, you thank Rahima for a successful career of service before the next mission begins. Okay. All right, we are racking up the era score then. So it does come from all sorts of things. That's nice. Uh, right, unit needs orders. This is the other spy. So can we send... Where can we send this? What if we sent you to somewhere like... Uh, where can we sort of raise... Where do you raise the partisans kind of stuff? We went to London's. Neutralise governor gain sources. Cipher. Ferment and rest is just reducing the loyalty. But in the capital, that's not really worth doing, is it? Got no great works to steal. Uh, can where where else can you go? Where would be good Bristol? No, I wonder one where you can uh, ferment unrest. You can get you can get like barbarians and stuff to appear, and that just just sounds fun. It just sounds like a fun thing to do. It's going to really irritate people. Rome? Uh, no. Okay, I don't know what we need for that. Then let me go and check out spying. Hang on. The only thing I can find for spies and espionage is this kind of rather generic page. But I don't know where else the other stuff is. Do you know what? Never mind. Let's just send it, say, to Rome. There's no great work still. I'd like to steal something of Rome's. I'd like to steal something. Nobody's got any, um, any, uh, what are they called? The, 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 the encampments. Look, nobody's got any encampments. Unless they don't come up on here. I would have thought they would come up. Particularly you, I would have thought you would have got. Or maybe encampments don't come up on them. You can't go and spy on an encampment or something. I don't know. Let's send it to, I don't know, Ravenna. Uh, no, you've not got any great work. Has anyone got any great work to steal? Come on, there must be one somewhere. Yeah, and I see the Waltzy over on uh, the subreddit has said, oh, yes, it'd be quite a good idea to send people over to uh, England, he specifically said, but the English cities, and either recruit partisans or sabotage the infrastructure. But none of those options are coming up at all for any of those cities. I get ferment and rest, reduce the loyalty, but that's it. I don't really get anything else for any of these other cities. I don't know, Amsterdam? Uh, sabotage production? That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Where's that damaging all the stuff? No, nothing there either. Harlem, listening post, no tech to steal. There's no uh, sort of theatre square in there, so I can't steal anything from that. Does nobody have anything in any of their theatre squares? In fact, does nobody have any theatre squares at all? Why has no one got any great works of any kind? I don't want to do anything with them. I can't put them anywhere, but I can take them away from you all. No, nothing. Okay, do you know what? Let's just send you to an English city and just irritate you. Where's an English city on the border? Leeds, look. Leeds possibly could go a bit rogue with loyalty. Oh, what about... Right up here. What about Okoyama? Go to Okoyama, if I can find it. Just there. And let's reduce your loyalty. And then you might break away and go join Japan again or something. That might be quite fun. But yeah, I don't seem to have all the options available. I don't know. Maybe I need more diplomatic visibility or something to be able to do the bigger, the more interesting uh, spy missions. I don't know. You can go there anyway. That's fun. Right. Choose a civic. Let's go for whatever we're going to go for. Can't remember. Rapid deployment, was it? Because I'm not really bothered by these other things. Open borders all city-states. Plus four influence, point, influence points per turn toward earning envoys. Yeah, not so bothered. Anything in there. Campus and industrial zone. Food from trade routes. Gold from sciencey things. Do you know what? Not bothered. Let's go. Rapid deployment. We'll get globalization. We'll get future civic. And we'll have a lot of fun with that. Right. What do we want to build? Let's work on, again, uh, campus research stuff. And here we go. Now, this is forcing us to change this. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of national identity for now. So just click that over there. And let's get the 50% uh, discount on all unit upgrades. So that's good. Then let's get ourselves the plus... Four. Oh, yeah, we've got the Dark Age policies, of course. Yes. 
Not going to use any of those though. Plus four great scientist points per turn to replace that one. And then, let's just take that out for now. Let's take that out. In fact, do we need great engineer points per turn? Do you know what? Let's take out great engineer points per turn. And then let's put in the... Where was it? Ugh. That one there. Plus 50% tourism output to sieves to which I have a trade route. Yes, that. So we can upgrade our units. And we're not going to get any great engineer points. We could. Ah, we could actually do some great... Uh, whatever it is, industrial zone logistics, whatever it is, to get that covered. And now we're going to get extra tourism to sieves to which I have a trade route. So yes. Yep, do that. I think that's probably a good thing. And let's just check how are we doing. Let's have a quick look. It's all reset. Oh, how many is that? That is uh, 20, 28, 31, possibly. Something like that. Oh, my math is absolutely terrible. I don't know. It's a number. It's a number that we need. Right, good. Let's just crack on, shall we? Let's just get on with it. Right, okay. Well, the guy stole the tech before really well. So is that what I gave him? Still in tech? I know, Foment Unrest. Oh, yes. Maybe he could do that over there. That might be fun. So we can recruit partisans if two levels more experience, but I don't get the option for that, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, should we, should we foment some unrest over there? Because that might be quite a fun thing to do. That might be all right. That might be interesting. Yeah, whatever. Let's do that. It's a bit different. Uh, my friendship with Japan. Do you know what? He can come and ask me. Japan can come and ask me to be friends, I think. I'm going to leave it in his hands. Let's see what he does. Oh, and... A spy from the Dutch Empire was captured during a Siphon Funds mission. Everybody's after all my monies. Uh, no, I'm not going to accept that deal with you, my lady. You're probably going to attack me at some point soon because all of a sudden you've gone from being alright with me to being utterly outraged. But okay, that's fine. Be angry with me, whatever. Right, okay, a spy has appeared. Are you a new spy? Why have I got so many spies? Espionage. Uh, I've got you. Oh, I've acquired a spy. Do I just get a spy from... I wasn't building a spy, was I? Why is the spy suddenly a pit? Or did I have another one? Did I have another one? I don't know. Spy recruit. It's like I've just been given one. Maybe somebody got to a certain point and we all get given a spy? Okay, fine. We've, look, we've got a spy recruit. We've got a master spy and a secret agent. Okay, well, what can we do with you then? Uh, how about you go to... Uh, England. Uh, let's go to London and you can just irritate them. In fact, no, that won't work, will it? Where's a really far away place? Arnhem looks pretty secure. Leeds. Let's go to Leeds. I'm really sorry. I have to send you to Leeds. There we go. Off you go. We'll do some uh, fermenting unrest over in Leeds. That might be quite fun because they're quite far away from the capital look. So their loyalty might be slightly less. And if we can knock that down... They might start breaking away. They'll, of course, start having problems keeping leads on board. And that's just quite funny. Oh, well, that's just annoying, isn't it? Everyone else can recruit partisans, but not me, it seems. So an enemy spy in Solo City succeeded in recruiting partisan forces. Uh, my unit has been captured by barbarians. Well, yeah, I don't expect to suddenly just appear next to me. So my builder has been captured. Well, do I have a builder? Oh, I had a builder down there, everybody. Never mind, right? <laughs> Okay, and also I've realised I forgot... Ah, oh, I'm so useless at this. I forgot to upgrade all my troops. I forgot to upgrade them all because I've got the thing that lets me upgrade them for, for cheaper. So yes, let's go through and do that now. So infantry. Yes, infantry. Yes, do that. Do lots of infantry. Oh, this spy noise is going to irritate me. If he's going to do that every single time. Uh, okay, uh, gain sources, please. Do that first in that city. Right, good. Right, now let's get rid of that. I've completed a thing for Anton Tantirivo. So let's do that. Let's do that. Right, so let's get some infantry on board. Let's get some proper troops in first. So da, 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 you can upgrade. Can we upgrade the cannons? No. So the field cannons don't get upgraded. The city is unfortunately woefully, pitifully undefended, I would say. Let's get some cavalry back in there just to have something in the city. Because that's a little bit rubbish. Must command core to there. We can't upgrade you. Can't upgrade you. Right, okay. So they can't be upgraded. Let's run them in. Let's just try and get these guys down just so they can at least do something. Cause some sort of damage. Uh, and you fellas can go up there as well. Maybe to there. Can you fire on them? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you can shoot them. So that's good. So that's damaged those a little tiny bit. Splendid. Everyone else is going to have to wait for next turn to deal with this. Yeah, okay. So I don't know how to recruit partisans then. I don't know how that works. I don't know if I've not got a right 
Civic or Tech or something to do that? I don't know, but I don't seem to get the option. I don't get the option. Uh, yay, let's be friends. Absolutely, my good sir. So yeah, I don't get the option to do it, so I don't know quite how you do that. I don't really use spies very often. And normally, if I do, I normally just defend. I normally just sit there and defend. Uh, what are they doing? Are you causing trouble over here, spy face? Barbarian builders, barbarian builders, barbarian infantry. I don't like it. I don't like all the bar bars being around. Right. Okay. Uh, city strike. Strike on you. Bang. Oh, they probably took out my um. They probably took out Rembrandt, and he's gone back to the gone back to uh, HQ. That's fine. That's fine. He's gone back to the capital. Right. That's them dealt with. That's rather good, isn't it? You guys can shoot at them. Bang. Right. That you guys are rubbishy infantry. You guys go down very easily. And let's get you. So bring you over here. You can come that way. You should be able to take care of them, I would have thought. Uh, you can go on the Maracanã. Can you fire on them? Uh, no. For some reason you cannot. Can you fire on them from there? No, because you've run out of moves. Okay, at least you're over there to then go and do some stuff. And then let's bring you folks up as well. Uh, yeah, to there I'll have to do for now. No, it's just there, please. We And then you can go over and maybe run after these builders and go and reclaim those builders. Yeah, I don't know where they've come from. I'm fairly certain I didn't have two units lying around. Yes, 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 you don't like me very much. My science output's woeful. la di da di da Yeah, very good. So yeah, I don't think I had two builders. I was surprised I even had one builder. So yeah, we'll... we'll... Oh, maybe I'll go and harvest these sheep as well. Send some food back to Solo City. That might be quite a good plan as well. Okay, right. Well, there we go. That sounds like a plan. What's going with great people as well? Let's check great people very quickly. Um, oh, right. Well, I can recruit one of them. So let's recruit you. 400 science for each rainforest tile. Yeah, we'll have you. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Okay, let's go and sort these out. So you can fire on them. So, boom. They're nearly dead. They are nearly dead. Okay. And if you stand here... You've got rainforest around you in your entirety, which is perfect. So what's your... Hang on, let me just check what your 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 skill thing is. Let's just... Oh, you can't do it while you're not on the tile. There. Oh, no, you've got to wait for next turn. Okay, fine. We'll do that next turn then. Right, run you guys down there. You can take care of these next turn. That'll be fine. Well, could you kill them now? No, you can't do a range attack on them for some reason. I don't entirely know why, but okay... You can't go through and kill them. Okay, right. What are we doing with Solo City? Let's do some... Uh, do you know what? Should we do some industrial zone logistics to make up for the great engineer points that we've lost from not having that policy? Let's do that for a change. Yeah, why not? That's fun. And uh, yeah, you guys, maybe we don't need everyone over there now. So let's bring you over there like that. Oh, you can be upgraded. Da-da. Splendid. Uh, and yeah, maybe we don't need all those people around anymore. Let's put you just there again. Fortify. Maybe we don't need this border. Maybe we need to spread people around a bit. So yeah, let's bring you... Uh, well, you're going to go to there first. We'll bring you over. Uh, you can't fire on them, but never mind. Skip your turn for now. Okay, so they're legging it. They're running away, which is a little bit tedious, but we can go and get them. So let's go and kill them and reclaim our unit. There we go. Our units come back. Now, I don't know where that other barbarian unit was, but whatever. And also, the builder is in the right place. He's on these sheep. So I'm going to destroy these sheep. I'm going to harvest the resource and send the food back to Solo City so we can grow a bit more, which is exciting. Right, you, Mr. Man, Janaki Amal, what is your thing? 400 science for each rainforest tile here or adjacent. Now, that counts as rainforest, doesn't it? So every single one of these tiles is rainforest. We should get, uh, how many tiles is that? One, two, three, four, seven, four, two, 2,800 science. That, that seems quite a lot. That's quite good. How much is that? It'll get me radio done and probably electricity as well. So he, Janaki Amal, is going to revolutionise the revolutionise the Congo. Right, well, go and go and do that, my good man. Radio is completed. Electricity is completed. <gasps> He's just discovered computers. He, tourism yields are doubled. Tourism yields are doubled. He may have just won me the game. May dispute the actual start of the atomic era, but you know is when Congo discovered computers. So by him wandering around in a jungle, he just discovered electricity, radio, and computers. That is some jungle. That is a that's the place to be. <laughs> just there, just there is the place to be. Uh, okay, and we only need two more points to go into a normal era as well. That'd be quite nice. Imagine that. 
Right, move those guys forward. You can fortify. Move you to just there. You can fortify. You, yeah, I want you lot to come down here and stand on there. That's fine. Science-wise now, what do we want to go, what do we go for now? We've kind of got what we wanted. We've got for, gone for what we aimed for. We've got computers. Uh, I don't know. We're not going to get any of those things, are we? What about chemistry for the research lab? Just to boost our science up. If we particularly need to do that anymore, I don't know. Uh, you can fortify just there. Why the heck not? And yeah, next go. Okay, that's going to have a massive bear on our um, on our culture score, isn't it? We're going to have a look at that quick. Let's look at it now. So 218 to 236. Oh, she's getting actually she's getting away. She that's moving further away, isn't it? Isn't that moving further away? So we need to get ourselves what's that? 26 to 28. 28 more people. If they're all doubled now, sure that's going to be a huge thing. Right, ferment unrest has worked. So that's good. Let's go see if that's made any difference whatsoever. Uh, where are you? Infantry core. Oh, you can be upgraded. Yeah, I have battle cry. Good. Great person. A great writer. Yay! Another great writer to join the ranks of the great unemployed. Uh, you can just stay there. Just sleep. Just go stay there. <laughs> you can't do anything. Right, and let's harvest that. Send that back to the city. Splendid. And you. Did that even do anything? Citizen loyalty is is what? Is not changing. All right, do it again. Make them more unloyal. Do the thing because it's fun. Uh, and you've done unrest and some of the city state stuff has happened. Okay. So at the end of this turn, we've got 224 out of 236. So that's what we're on now. So 224. That seems surprisingly near. That's gone up since I last looked. Are we one turn away? Could we win this next turn? Are we gonna are we actually gonna finish one of these with a win? Oh, happy days. Come on. Okay, we've got an era score. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go into a normal age next time. If we if there is a next time. I don't know, are we gonna win? Are we are we gonna win? Are we gonna win a one city challenge? Oh, happy days. Please tell me that this is possibly going to happen. Maybe not next time, but certainly I think it's imminent. Rapid deployment will help. Okay, so rapid deployment is unlocked. It's not quite now. Okay, yes, yeah, go back to Eindhoven. That's good. Get, send culture to those guys. Uh, you can go over there. Fortify over that side. You are in Leeds. Okay, right. Gain sources. Do that thing first. That's good. You go to there. Uh, harvest that stuff. Send that back to the capital. There we go. You can fortify on that wonder. And it's all looking good. Okay. So now we can put these extra things. Our broadcast center gives us plus eight culture, which is pretty flipping amazing. But also, it's got a great work of music slot. <laughs> so I can move some stuff around, maybe, and get someone in. Have I got any musicians? I've got artists galore and writers. I've got writers and artists. I don't think I've got any musicians, actually. I don't think I've got any of them. Has it got anything else in there? No, but plus eight culture is a good thing. So I think, have we buy? Oh, actually, can we just buy any of these? Can we buy the broadcast center? Bosh. Buy the broadcast center and then build the power plant because why not? We might as well build something. And then civic. Oh, I don't know. Globalization because because reasons. That'll do. Yay. Globalization. Okay. And how near are we? <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe not next turn, but certainly in a couple of turns. I think we can win this. Oh, that's nice. Hello, smiley umbrella lady. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. Jolly good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, this is intriguing then. So there's a little note here that just says, your culture dominant. You've attracted enough tourists to make your culture dominant over England. So it's a bit, okay. So I've got 237 over 230. Oh, no, it's equal. It's equal. So this is it. This the next turn, I will go to the next turn, and that should then exceed her tourism, and we should possibly win. The worth of a culture. Yes, we have achieved it. Uh, we've completed a one city challenge, and it's worked. Yes, okay, granted, we didn't do it on the greatest of difficulty levels, but still, rise and fall, all new rules, all new shiny things. That man's painting a picture. Uh, that's a bit inception, isn't it? Because it's a picture of. It's, it's someone painting a picture in the form of a picture, but okay. Yes, and we've done it. So yeah, it wasn't on the most difficult of things. It was not on the most difficult of, of levels, but we've still done it. We've still completed Civilization VI Rise and Fall 
with one city. And we did it, so uh, it was that, it was the jungle guy. It was the jungle guy that got us computers and electricity and everything else. I don't know what are the magic things were in that jungle that he discovered. I don't know what he dug up out the ground. But yeah, there we go. Hurrah, splendid. And my rating is all right. Uh, it could be worse. That's fine. Graphs. Let's look through some exciting graphs. Oh, goodness me. What's that? Culture per turn. I just wrote a point. At one point, Victoria was out culturing us. And then we just absolutely thrashed her. There we go. Splendid. That's good to know. Faith. Don't really care. Buildings constructed. That could be interesting. So we're down here. What? Pound. Oh, of course. Of course. Pound to make a, <laughs> pound make a flat line around there. Because he was uh, wiped out. Okay. That's good. Total units killed. Yep. Victoria was, was quite good at that. Hang on. Am I? Where am I? I'm, I'm, I'm right in there. That's pretty good. I killed quite a lot of people. Total units lost. I'm right at the bottom. Oh, beautiful. And Wilhelmina's lost the most. 40-something. 40, 40... I don't know what the scale is, but 40-something. Mid-40s. Wow. Okay. Wonderful that. Total wars declared. <laughs> England. Stop declaring wars on people, you silly people. Total wonders constructed. Oh, yeah. Boom. One city. Yeah. Yeah, one really flipping amazing city full of wondrous, wondrous things. Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, <laughs> we've, we've done one. It didn't end in defeat. It didn't end in Sean Bean sounding really sad. And then my city all lying in ashes and crumbling to dust. Praise be. That is, that is splendid news. Well, there we go. That was very enjoyable. And Rise and Fall, I think, is a very worthy addition to Civ. I think that actually works. It adds quite a lot to the game. Your era score gives you something to kind of deal with, particularly early on, when you could, and, and I, I am I am indeed guilty of this in early bits of Civ, where you just sit and just quite content to just go, well, I'm burning a watermill. I'll just move the time on until I get the watermill finished. Click, 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 click. Then your era score is always looming in the corner going, you know, if you haven't done anything, if you don't go, go out and discover wonders or you know, natural wonders or go and build some cool stuff, then, yeah, you're not going to get good stuff. You're going to be plunged into Dark Ages and then your Lord is going to collapse and it's all going to be bad. So, yeah, the, the new the new additions and the emergencies are good. I like the emergencies. Yeah, I think it's a worthwhile addition. I think it adds a lot and what it adds is all very, very good. I can't think of anything that it adds that is particularly terrible. I can't think of anything where I'm thinking, oh, this is a terrible addition to the game. So there we go. There we go. We have taken victory. Can we just, can we just drink this in for a second? Victory. Vic, not defeat, not you have been rubbish, not you've been stamped on or you've been killed or you've been blown up or outscienced or you're all sat on Earth looking at everyone else's on Mars or whatever. Victory, victory is ours. And the nation of the Congo, with its one city, with whatever, however many wonders it had. Eight, nine, ten, how many wonders did it have? I can't remember. How many? Kind of along there. Eleven, possibly? Eleven wonders is that? I don't think it's quite up to twelve. I don't think it's quite as high as 12. I think it might be 11 wonders. So with 11 wonders, and look at that. Look at it ramping up from there. So we had four. Quickly went up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> look at that. The progression there. Just like, oh, I'll just put another wonder. I've got nothing else to build. Just slap a wonder in there. So uh, yeah, there we go. The city of the Congo. The, the single city is indeed now with the, the rulers of the world, which I don't quite understand how that works. But there we go. So we rule the world because our city is so culturally, utterly superior that everyone wants to be just like us, and they shall be like us for the greater good. And that is it. We are done. Splendid. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the people that have commented and thrown suggestions at me and helped me out with this because they've been they've been most worthwhile. They've been really helpful. So thank you very much. We will come back to Civ 6 Rise and Fall. It won't be immediate. It won't be right away. It won't be one in you know, a couple of days or whatever. But I've got an idea for a few more uh, ideas for a few more little challenge type runs that I want to give a go at. And yeah, they involve more than one city, everybody. <laughs> Hooray! It's not another one city challenge. But uh, yeah, so we'll come back to Civ 6 Rise and Fall at some point. But yeah, it won't be probably in the next couple of weeks, I wouldn't have thought. But yeah, we'll come back because I have some plans and I shall discuss it and see what we want to do. Yeah, I'll mention it on the Discord to see what people think. That's a good point, actually. Let's drop the Discord in. I don't do this very often. But yeah, we have a Discord. So please join the Discord. It's uh, The invite link is in the description of this video. So you could drop by there and you can discuss Civ 6 stuff with us if you want to. But that's it. So I'm going to go away and bask in victory. I might go and have some tea. I might go and have tea and biscuits or something. I don't know. Whatever I can find in the kitchen, I shall gladly 
should gladly take in celebration, for we have won. We have completed and taken victory indeed in the Civilization VI Rise and Fall One City Challenge. A culture victory was the Congos. That was our aim. We set out to achieve it and we have got there. So if you have enjoyed this video or indeed the series, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the stuff that we do in the Geek Cupboard as well as all the Civ 6 stuff that we do as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. The pyramids was built far away, the terracotta was built far away and the Great Wall was built far away. Far away sounds like a very good place to go, doesn't it? Greece, you handsome devil, Alexander. Hello there. King Nipplehead is not at the bottom of the table. I'm above him. Oh, and that was a rather ill-advised move.